Welcome to two examples of determining linear function inputs given a linear function output. So first we're asked to solve for f of x equals 0 given f of x equals negative 2x plus 6. We'll first solve this algebraically and then verify it graphically. So we want to solve f of x equals 0 which means we want to determine the input or x value that would give us a function value or output of 0. So because f of x equals 0 We'll substitute 0 for f of x and then solve for x. This would give us the equation 0 equals negative 2x plus 6. And now we'll solve this for x, which will give us the input that will give us an output or function value of 0. So the first step is to isolate the x term by subtracting 6 on both sides. So this would be 0, so we have negative 6 equals negative 2x. And that is solve for x, we divide both sides by negative 2. And simplifying, we have x equals positive 3. So our solution is x equals 3, which means when the input is 3, the output or function value is 0. So we could also say that f of 3 equals 0. If we want to verify this graphically, we can graph the linear function f of x equals negative 2x plus 6. And this line should pass through the point 3, comma zero. Remember for any ordered pair, the first value would be x, the second value would be f of x. So here's a graph of the line f of x equals negative two x plus six. And notice how the line does pass through the point three comma zero, which again does verify graphically that when the input or x value is three, the output or function value is zero. Now let's take a look at our second example. We want to solve f of x equals negative 4, given the same linear function, f of x equals negative 2x plus 6. So for this example, we're trying to determine the input or x value that would give us a function value or output of negative 4. So we'll substitute negative 4 for f of x, and once again, solve for x. So we'd have negative 4 equals negative 2x plus 6. And of course, we'll solve for x in the same way. We'll first subtract 6 on both sides. Simplifying, this would be 0. So negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10 equals negative 2x. Dividing both sides by negative 2 to solve for x. Simplifying, we get x equals negative 10 divided by negative 2 is positive 5. So our solution is x equals 5. The reason x equals 5 is our solution is it because f of 5 equals negative 4, meaning when the input or x value is positive 5, the output or function value will be negative 4. So again, to verify this graphically, if we graph a linear function, it would pass through the point 5, comma, negative 4. So once again, here's a graph of our linear function, and notice how the line does pass through the point 5, comma, negative 4, once again, verifying that x equals 5 is the solution, meaning when the input or x value is positive 5, the output or function value is negative 4. Now, there is one more way we can quickly verify our solutions using the table feature of the graphing calculator. And let's go ahead and show that as well. We'll first enter the linear function in y1. So we'll press y equals and enter negative 2x plus 6. And now we're going to use a table feature so let's make sure our table is set up correctly. So we'll press second window for table set. Let's change the table start to zero. Enter. The change in table by ones is good. We also want the independent variable on automatic, which it already is. If it wasn't, we would just make sure automatic is highlighted and then press enter. And now we'll go to the table by pressing second graph. And what we'll do is look for a function value or y value of zero and then a function value or y value of negative 4. So notice how if we scroll down here on this row, notice how when the y value or function value is 0, the x value or input is positive 3. And now we'll look for a function value or y value of negative 4, which is two rows down. Notice how when the y value or function value is negative 4, the input or x value is positive 5. I hope you found these two examples helpful.